Well, do you know of the family who live there? Yeah, I know them, yeah. What are they like? Um, the dad's all right, keeps himself to himself. The lad's a bit of a, like any lads, isn't he? In and out all the time. Well, he's a bit high flared, you know, he can be a bit tempered. What, make, what makes you say that? Well, I'm not saying any more now. Go on, you get, you right. get off Thank, Thank you very much. Well, what are, yeah. they, what are, what are their names next the door, door, please? Sorry? Do they have many visitors to the house? Are you saying the lad? I mean, he's the kind of person yeah, who knows. Yeah, he seems to have a lot of lads coming all the time. What, what's their names? Flanagan's. Flanagan's. Yeah, Pete and... Neil. Neil, yeah. Peter's the father. Pete. Right? Peter's the father. Yeah. And Neil is the son. Son, yeah. Do you know the name of Pete's girlfriend? Sorry? Do you know the name of Pete's girlfriend? I, I don't know. No. no, no. I have seen her, but I don't know her name. 67. And I've been the longest resident here. How long have you lived here for? 40 years. So I, I missed what you were saying earlier. Did you hear something last night? Did you see what was happening? No, no, I only heard the police, all the commotion with the police, and that was it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, so what, yeah. Sylvia, so yeah. what are the family like who live there? What are the family like who live there? They're all right. Pete's all right, keeps himself to himself. The lad's a little bit of a, you know, like a lad. Have, a lad. Hello, please. have they lived there a long time? Uh, the third longest, I think. I'm the longest, then it's that one at the end, and then they come third. And which number are you, look? Number six. Number six. So just be, yeah. just they... before you go, I mean, could, because we weren't here right at the beginning, what were you doing, or what was the first you knew about what had happened? Well, I went to bed at 10 o'clock, and uh, about 12 o'clock I heard this commotion, all voices and everything, and I looked down, and there was four police cars here. So I come down, and I come out, and I said to the policeman, uh, what's going on? And he said, there's been a break-in next door. And I said, is anybody hurt? And he said, that's all I could say. That was it. And how would you describe this family? <laughs> I've got to live here, you know. <laughs> yeah, they keep themselves to themselves. He goes to work, Pete. He's a worker. What does he do? Worker. I think he does some with engines or something. I'm not quite sure. But he goes out early in the morning, he goes about 20 past six. And how old is his son, roughly, would you say? I, w I would say it's about 26 to 28, and his, something his like that. Is, what's Sorry? His, what's his son's name? Neil. Does Neil live there as well, then, yeah. does he? So they yeah. all live there. And the girlfriend, does she live there as I well? I don't know her. I don't know her. Did you get to speak to them, the, the family, after what, what happened? No, no, I didn't see them. How's everyone feeling? I think they've took them in, haven't they? How's everyone well, we're here? upset because it's a quiet little street, you know, we never have any bother. How's everyone here feeling? I think they're a bit upset. <laughs> you know, you don't like it, do you, on your own doorstep? I'm leaving you Thanks now, OK? All right, love. What's your name again? Good afternoon, I'm Chief Superintendent Kevin Mulligan, the Salford Division. Um, obviously, we're aware of the events that occurred uh, just before midnight last night. Um, it's a tragic set of circumstances, a man has lost his life. It's a shocking incident. But well, I can reassure the community uh, that there's a significant police presence in the area. Uh, we've got a team of de detectives uh, investigating the matter thoroughly and we believe there's no ongoing threat to the community uh, as a result of this incident. Um, shortly before midnight last night, we attended on Ethel Avenue uh, in Salford to a report of a burglary. There was a report that uh, four men in dark clothing, some of them wearing balaclava masks, were breaking into that address. We attended that incident and then shortly afterwards on Hospital Road, which is a short distance away, we found a 26-year-old male who had suffered at least one stab wound, who unfortunately uh, later died at hospital. Um, we're conducting uh, significant investigations into this matter. Uh, like I say, we have... Um, we would ask the community uh, for any information they have about this incident. We're particularly interested in tracing three males that were at the address. Um, we believe the uh, man who has died uh, was one of the persons trying to get into the rear of the address. That's what we believe at this stage. Um, we returned to the address, uh, the original address, uh, and we have arrested three persons who were present in that address. Has anyone got any questions? What can you tell us about the people you've arrested? At this stage, I'd just like to say at this stage, we've arrested three persons who were present at the address. Clearly, it's a confusing picture at this stage. It's a very complex inquiry. We want to make sure we get it right, and I don't want to speculate about anything. But the man who died actually got into the house? 
Um, we believe he had, yes. And how far into the house? As far as I don't want to speculate about that at this time. Is there any suggestion the parties knew each other? We don't know at this stage. What's the wording of the arrest? Were well, they arrested on suspicion of...? Murder. Was it a single stab wound? There was at least one stab wound. At Does least. that mean two or three or four? At least one. Until the post-mortem, we can't est exactly establish what the injuries are and exactly what the cause of death is. Is it possible to confirm the sex of the people? Is it we've heard two men and a female? At this stage, uh, I don't want to clarify any further on that. Have you established whether the knife which killed the man was brought by the intruders or was whether it was in the house? Again, we're investigating the matter thoroughly. We're being very careful about the investigation and I don't want to speculate on that point at this time. Was the man stabbed in the house or was it uh, outside the address? We believe he was stabbed in the house or nearby. Or nearby? Yes. Sure. Was he armed at the time he was found? I don't know that at this stage. Was Have there you any seized any fight or altercation before the stabbing took place, do you think? There was some sort of disturbance inside the house and that's all I can say about the circumstances in the house at this time. Have you seized any other weapons? To, um, Not at this stage, the as far as I'm aware. To hospital rooms? The ambulance took... Were, there were, of the three males that were with him at the time of the offence, uh, or the incident, um, we believe at least two of those people were with him on Hospital Road. Like I say, they were in dark clothing, possibly wearing balaclava masks. And we would ask anyone who's any information about these incidents to ring us on 0161 856 5448. Like I say, we've got a significant police presence in the area and we don't think there's any ongoing threat to the community. Who? Were the householders asleep at the time that these men tried to gain entry to the I house? don't know. Who called police to Hospital Road? We had at least one call. Was this from his associates? I don't know at this stage. But it was his, his associates who were with him in Hospital Road, rather than the. We believe from the that house. there were at least two people with him on Hospital Road who were his associates at the original incident. Did the people in the house down that night at this stage? I don't know. We received at least one call about the incident, about the original burglary. Are you currently Many looking people? for the associates? We are, yeah. We would ask them to come forward and uh, surrender themselves to the police at this stage. And if anyone has any information about who they may be, they need to ring us on that number and let us know.